Tonight, it's a first of its kind here in Connecticut. Pot delivery right to your doorstep. And Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Eliza Krasinski has a closer look at how one marijuana business is breaking the new ground. Recreational cannabis sales have been booming in Connecticut since it became legal earlier this year. People are still coming in, oh, we just heard about you. And then we see them that same face a week later. My girlfriend and I, we've been coming here since it first opened. If you are planning on heading to Fine Fettle in Manchester, no need to grab the keys. They're making it much easier for you to get your pot. You can just pull out your phone, head to the Fine Fettle website, decide what you want to order, click on delivery, type your address in, and it'll be brought discreetly right to your door, just like a food delivery. We love us some DoorDash, so this is like the perfect thing for us. This wouldn't be able to happen without Green Coach, the state's first cannabis delivery company, working in partnership with Manchester's Fine Fettle. You will get the delivery you know, out to you in a very quick uh, way, and our drivers will be you know, equipped. It'll be safety uh, instruments in the cars, safety calls, and it will be a, a very discreet delivery to the doorstep. It's an unmarked car, it's a discreet white bag, and it could be a prescription, it could be batteries, it could be a cheeseburger from McDonald's. We already have repeat delivery customers, which I was like, wow, awesome. So I think they're just realizing how easy it is, just like if they were ordering food. They're getting their weed right to the door. There's a minimum $75 order with a $10 delivery fee, but no delivery fee if you spend over $150. And customers are happy about this new system. My mom especially used it during her cancer treatment, so I have a very, very uh, big heart when it comes to cannabis, med medicinally and recreationally. But recreationally, this is a turning point for Connecticut, and I'm very excited to see what's happening next. In Manchester, Eliza Krasinski, Channel 3, Eyewitness News.